Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning, and today we're gonna play another standard event. No, I gave that up. Today we're gonna play another ranked game. We'll do standard events in the future. I just, I just like, I'm poor. Just look at this, I'm poor. Um, watch the videos and I'll be able, no, don't. We're gonna play ranked and we're gonna play the good old-fashioned invasion lara and the bramble familiar combo right for you who don't know uh, invasion of lara is a wooberg all uh, one of each color uh, battle when it's a battlefield exile cards from the top of your library until you exile two non-land cards with mana value four or less you may cast one of those two cards without paying its mana cost put one of them into your hand and then put the other cards exiled away on the bottom of your library in a random order and bramble familiar is a two mana a spell with a seven mana adventure but hence technically it is below four mana so you can pay uh, you can play the seven mana adventure part for free with invasion of valara and then all the other cards are going to be more than four mana big and um, yes so they will not be found with invasion of valara and then you mill some of them and you get to play them essentially now what's really cool is that we also have this ancient cornucopia which you've seen before on my channel because i really really like this card uh, whenever you cast a spell that's one or more colors, you may gain one life for each of that spell's color. Do this only once each turn. I think this is really good in this deck. A, I don't really mind, like, you have three of these and um, four of this, so it's, you should be able to get one of these regardless. You pick which one goes to your hand and which one you want to play for free with the Invasion of Alara Enter the Battlefield effect. So most of the time you're going to be able to get this effect anyway. And having this out is really, really cool because you, you know aggro is out there, aggro is everywhere. And this card here can, I strongly believe it can save you. Uh, because if you play this out on turn uh, on turn three and then turn four, you play Invasion of Laura and you gain five life in addition to this. And then, yeah, it's really cool. Like having a mana rock that gains you life with the amount of colors and you have a five color spell that can win you the game. I think it could work really well. So, uh, yeah, and the other new cards we're going to play is a <laughs> Voltborn Tyrant. You saw me play in Simic. It is. I have it instead of Titan of Industry. I love this card. 7 mana 6 6 Trample. When it enters the battlefield or another creature with power 4 greater enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 3 life and draw a card. And whenever this die and it's not a token, you get a token that's a copy of it. So 7 mana comes out. So let's say you've been on the draw against aggro and you're close to being dead. You play this out, you gain 5 life from this. You get this out and you get another 3 life. Um, the opponent has to kill this in order for to get past it. You get another 3 life, you draw 2 cards. So life and card draw, big bo 2 big bodies for 7 mana. I like it. Obviously, if control takes over or if uh, exile effects take over, it's not going to be that good. But uh, I haven't seen them in some falls, so yeah, I think it will work great in this deck. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and rank up in Diamond. Okay, Pong well, gets to go first, and this hand is not what I would consider well. There's no way. And this is... Uh, I mean, we're not mulliganing again. So, yeah. Uh, so, mech pot. Playing some weird deck, I'm, I'm sure. Hopefully it doesn't kill us before we get Alara out. A few moments later. Mulch? Okay, gross. But either way, um... We're just Alara using our ancient cornucopia. Which we just drew, thank god. The next turn, Invasion of Alara, and we'd gain 5 life. And I think that in a meta with a lot of aggro, it can really save you essentially. Nissa, huh? Okay, so it's this deck. Okay, this mm, deck. Either way, let's uh, get this and pray we don't get another <laughs> Ancient Cornucopia. And what do we get? Oh well, we get the. I mean, this is what happens, like. One might be a cornucopia, but both is very unlikely. So we do this. And... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Cemetery for our desecrator, here we go. We remove something cost seven. Herd migration can go. Remove X counters from our invasion of Lara. I mean, you've seen this before, right? This is not a new thing. Uh, I like to draw two cards. Uh, destroy Nissa. Obviously not. Uh, I can copy you as well. I mean, I don't know how he's gonna get past this. And yeah, your turn. Five mana. Do you have anything that can. Anything gruel colors that can do anything here? I doubt it. I doubt it. 
doubt it. Okay, well. Good for you. Well, we have a ley line here. <laughs> and then 984 is more than 20. In game one life too, which is pretty sweet. And that's the first game. Let's keep the party going. On the draw again, I'm starting to see a trend, but we do have three mana. We have Ancient Cornucopia, so we could get Invasion of Alara out on turn four, which is really sweet and gain five life. We have Heart Migration, obviously, and Phyrexian, so we're good. Because Aggro Believer. Okay. Oh, ha, 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 fantastic. Nothing, so it's gonna hold Play with Fire, I suppose. Uh, let's just get the green mana out so we don't mess that up. You just shoot me already. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Real possibility, huh? Spell never dies. Okay, so let's uh, just hold the herd migration and fetch a land. And let's try to fetch the correct one. Okay, Christian, but it don't cost builds trigger. That's not good. I found my ley line target. Uh, let's go ahead and fetch a land. Go white. You out, and then Ancient Cornucopia. So turn four, we can go with uh, Invasion of Alara. Okay. Well, it is playing new cards, so you gotta hand it to Aggro Believer. But for an Aggro Believer, you're not having a lot of... Ah, oh, that's an aggro spell, I suppose. Maybe it's just Monred with a bad starting hand. Who knows? God, we need those. All right, um, so since we can't really, we can kill it or we play at the ley line, we can play Cornucopia out. I don't want to play the Alara because we can't really use a Cemetery uh, Gatekeeper because of the stupid top here orb. So let's just hold it here and play Leyline Binding and then uh, uh, Invasion to Alara the fo uh, uh, our following turn. This motherfucker is actually annoying. Forge, huh? Sure. And come on. Not too bad. Sure. I'll give it to him. He actually is bringing me below my starting life total. Let's get you out. We'll be taking this. Yoink. And now we get to Invasion, so yes. As long as one of them is the <laughs> Bramblewood Familiar, I'm gonna be happy. And... Nice, we got both of them. Let's go ahead and mill a little bit, Let's see what we get. <laughs> oh, I saw something good. We could get the Valorant Tyrant here, but I think Virtue is better, since we're gonna get Valorant Tyrant back anyway next turn. So I think, yeah. Playing the new cards here. In the uh, Invasion of Alara, Karsus Death Guard, okay. Alright. And we're back to 20. Alright. Let's take the Tyrant and gain some life. Make the opponent wish he had a better opponent. Get you out. And what can we do for 6 mana? Not much, huh? We just play out. We could just hold the binding. Or we could also play we could have played the Frex of Flesh Forger, blocked and reanimated it. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see if he kills my Valorant Tyrant so he can gain some more life. What the fuck? <laughs> no! Wait, how much damage at 6, 11, 12? 14, in case it's not even that dangerous. And we have, you know, Binding, of course. <laughs> um, most favorite card in Magic History. Gain to life, please, because Ancient Cornucopia is that good. We'll take you. Alright, down to 14. And, uh... I mean... Squeed us. That's good. 
Do you have anything for seven mana? Yes, we do. Let's see how the opponent likes this. Draw alive. Get rid of the herd. Remove some canters. Unye. Uh, destroy what? Forge can go. Uh, let's put down you for fun. And copy. Mm, what would you like to copy? <laughs> Let's just not mess it up like we did yesterday. Alright, so we get three triggers here. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, is that another one? Nice. Well, upon aware we're at the 28. I'm sure you can get this. We should probably play out this. We don't have to discard, because I am greedy. Alright then. Hitting him with Squee is just fine. Down to eight. You got this. Agro Believer, you got this, mate. You just have to believe, right? You just have to believe. And then things go well. One eternity later. We're in my fiance's house here and she does not have a desk, if you can believe that, in a room where I can sit secluded and do this. So, okay, rope me. So I'm sitting on the floor in one of the guest rooms right now, so... Yay. <laughs> at least when I edit this later, I can sit at the table with my headphones on. Right now, my foot is asleep. <sighs> Damn it. Well, you know it's an aggro believer when they don't, when they salt drop out. Alright, it's gonna take more time, you think. With the little roping. Yeah. The question is do we play this? Yeah, I think we do. I don't care about the triggers and the time's gonna take. I wanna have fun. Three, three triggers. Nine life, please. Make sure every nail is firmly hit into the coffin of this one red player. Oh, by all means, block. Do some math here. 9, 15, 17, 21, 28, 20, 32. You got this. <sighs> yeah. Salty as ever. Next game. Hey, we actually get to go first. That's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, we're definitely keeping this. Triumphs plus Leyline. I mean, come on. Come to Papa. We just need a black land. Opponents has a black land. That's not a black land. We do have our familiar for next turn, at least. Okay. It's not black. So you, and let's pray he doesn't have removal. Well, we don't have anything for five mana anyway. We actually can't. Play. Oh, there we go, black mana. Never mind. I was gonna say we have nothing to play. Let's attack. Not cool. Hey, but he doesn't have anything. That's nice. Okay, well, we can't do anything either. Only one black source. Not good. We drew every land we did not need. Oh, please use your. He gets to make a token, that's it. Yeah. Yoink. Another black source, it's perfect. So... Do we just kill it? Ah, yeah. Get you out. Minus two, minus two on this little token. Hard time. You shit. Well, he didn't take. Well, I guess he can't really protect the. Uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, let's get you out. We can get the land, of course not. And no, but we have you, so we can at least kill Elspeth here. Move counters. God, the gate desecrated cemetery desecrated is just so good. Okay. Well, I still get to take your. I get to take you with me. Get rid of you in case he has a way to get planeswalkers back. And we get our next land. 
Fantastic. So you out. Virtue persistence still insane. An amazing black card. All right, sure. I'd like to get a black source that doesn't hurt. Thank you. Okay, some weird Phyrexian deck. I would like to get you back, thank you so much. Here to desecrate another cemetery. That doesn't really matter. We can remove uh, counters from you. Alrighty. I mean, there's anything to. I think we go with Flesh Gorger here. There's nothing else to reanimate. Now, just pray he doesn't have a good old fashioned <laughs> Sunfall. That would suck. Uh, well. At least this incubator token is going to be useless now. Uh, flesh quarter, please. More damage. That's pretty sweet, too. At the end of his turn, we can take uh, borrow time. Cycle this. <laughs> Cycle this. Alright, so we have that next turn at least. Are we playing Invasion of Alara? Where's Alara? Now where's my cornucopia? Where are the new cards? Where's my tyrant? I like to draw cards when I replace something with a higher power than four. If I may. Path to peril. It's just a bunch of <laughs> board wipes. I'm getting it back anyway. It's having everything besides Sunfall. It's perfect. Question is, do we wait with taking borrowed time in case we place another planeswalker? And I think we do. Just keep doing this. Uh, we're gonna play you actually. Do we get anything good? Oh, Tyrant, come to Papa. G give me a life and carries. Oh, we found the win condition. We're gonna keep the proving ground in case we have to want a cycle in the future. Okay, wedding announcement. And please remove it. Don't excel it, remove it. Thank you. Give me another one. Bam. More life, more cards. And <laughs> let's just draw everything again, two triggers. Oh, yeah, this is this is what I live for. Play you out. And, oh, come on, dude. Let me do the combo. Next game. All right, we get to go first, so. <laughs> This hand's not too bad. Again, no black man at all. But we do have the herb migration to actually fetch it, so it's not too bad. Against Kane. My Kane. Okay, Kane's playing green. So let's just hold our herd migration here. Nothing. We like that. Celestia. Huh. Huh. Get black. You out and then do it again I'm just keep doing this do you have anything and then this virtue of loyalty okay maybe it's playing a token deck virtue of loyalty is such a cool card okay call me come in in we will take some damage here we use you get our blue mana that's missing nice Get rid of you. I mean, you can try to aggro me down. <laughs> 26 life. Ah, okay. Another calm me, sure. I got a uh, ley line. Sure. Let's just take this so we can kill the calm me on our turn. At least we're hitting all the lands. Get rid of you. Okay, card doesn't have much impact by itself, but let's take it. <laughs> it's had enough. Oh, that was a good game.
<laughs> All right, so it was really, really fun to play this deck with Ancient Cornucopia. It does work really well with Evasion of Alara. You do get a lot of value with, uh, first of all, uh, having Mana Rock Plus, then also being able to gain 5 life when you play it. The Valorant Tyrant, again, amazing. I do not regret playing this over Titan of Industry. And yeah, it was really, really fun to play, and we did rank up, so... I really hope you enjoyed the content and I do think this could be the updated version of the Invasion of Alara deck. Uh, with that being said, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and... Have a good day.